Extra question two. We're told that the probability of x is 0.3, the probability of y is 0.7, and the probability of x and y is 0.21. We're then asked whether events x and y are independent. Now, it's always nice just to go through and think about what information we've got. Now, we've got both the marginal probability, we've got the probability of x, as well as the probability of y by themselves, and then we've got the joint probability, the probability of x and y. Now, to answer a question like, are uh, x and y independent? We have to think, firstly, about our rule, and then we've got to think about what information we've got and any extra information we need to find. Now, to tell whether or not two events are independent, we compare the marginal to the conditional probability. So, just generally when we're talking about A and B, if the probability of A is the same as the probability of A given B, then B has had no influence on A, and A and B are independent. So that's our rule. Now, the problem here, of course, in wanting to compare x and y, we don't have the probability of x given y or the probability of y given x. So we don't have either of the conditional probabilities to compare that to the marginal. So we've got to say, well, what information do we have? We've got the joint probability of x and y. So we have to think now about how joint probabilities are linked in to the question of independence and therefore conditional probabilities to see if we can rearrange the information we've got to be able to come up with a conclusion. Now, in having a look at our different rules, we have the multiplication rule that tells us the probability of A given B, so the conditional probability, multiplied by the marginal probability of the condition, will be ultimately the probability of A and B. That is the multiplication rule. Now, of course, we know that if A and B are independent, the probability of A given B is exactly the same as the probability of A. So I can rewrite my multiplication rule. Instead of saying the probability of A given B times the probability of B, well, I know that if A and B are independent, I can substitute the probability of A given B by just the probability of A. And so you can see that we've got that written there. We've substituted for the conditional probability. So we can now say that, okay, if A and B are independent, the probability of A times the probability of B will be the same as the probability of A and B. So it's like a special case of the multiplication rule, and that gives us a way to check for our X and Y. We can multiply the two marginal probabilities together, and if they multiply to be the same as the joint probability of X and Y, we know that they're independent. So, what is the probability of X times the probability of Y? 0.7 times 0.3 gives us 0.21. Now, that is exactly the same as the joint probability. 0.21 is the same as the probability of X and Y. So therefore, they must be independent. That would only be true if x and y are independent. So we've started off with our basic rule. We've used some knowledge about how different probability quantities are related. And we were able to then put that information into practice on our x and y situation.